dot form tutorial for beginners step by step hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you how you can get started with one of the easiest form builders which is jot form so let's get into it now to get started simply head on over to jotform.com and you can get started for free they do have some premium plans so for some upgraded features including the limit on your forms so on the free version you can only create five forms at a time and you can only take a look at 100 monthly submissions so that is a bit limiting so i do actually recommend you upgrade to the silver plan but for people that are looking to just get started jot form is still a great option so we're going to click on sign up for free and i'm just going to sign up with google over here you can sign up with facebook or your email address as well and once you have completed your sign up, you're going to be led to your dashboard. So in your dashboard, you're going to see you will have a left panel, which is your all forms section. Then you can create multiple different types of folders to further organize your forms. Then on the left, you have your team. So this can help you in building a team workspace. And then you can create a new individualized team as well. Then you have a shared with me section, which is going to show you the forms that other people have created and have shared with you. Then you have assigned forms as well as any of your drafts. Now on the top left, you have your my forms. So you can also go into your tables. You can go into your reports, approvals, apps, and more. So this is going to be your table form uh, or table dashboard. You can go into my assigned documents as well, apps, approvals as well. So I'm gonna go back into forms because that's our primary focus for today. So once you go into forms on your top right toolbar, you will see your my forms, templates, integrations, product, support, enterprise, and pricing. So you can go into templates over here and you will see multiple different types of templates. So we're going to click on form templates because that's what we're looking to create first. And once you click on form template, it's going to give you access to a bunch of different amazing forms. On your left, you have different types of layouts you can choose. You have a sort by option, which is popular, recent and trend. And then you have your types of forms. You will see that there are multiple different types of forms. And then you also have industries, professionals professions and languages now i can go into the types of forms and let's say i want to look at registration forms and then after i click on registration forms even within that i have multiple different types of forms so let's say i have a membership registration form that i want to look at i can click on this and then you guys can see this will show you multiple different types of registration forms that are based on this particular niche so i want to use a customer registration form i can click on this category over here and you will see all of your customer registration form templates so as you guys can see there are a bunch of different options now i'm gonna see multiple different templates i think i'm going to go with this one over here and I'm going to click on use template over here now once you have selected your template you can get started with customization so you can click on any element and on the left panel you have your add element and then on the right you have your properties so you can click on any element and you can you know add your own you know image or your own text as well so I'm going to remove this image and then I'm going to click on this section, click on choose a file and upload my own logo file. So I'm just going to go on ahead and upload that. I'm just going to click on open over here and I'm just uploading my own image. Now, as you guys can see, there is a particular size. So I'm going to decrease the size on this a little because this looks a bit too large. I think it looks better as 300 by 300 pixels. And then on the bottom, you have your image alignment as well. You have your advanced settings such as alternative text, file reference, and more. Now, once I've added my logo, I have the text. So I can select any text and I can go on ahead and add that over here. Sign up for our newsletter like this. And then I'm going to add know all the trends before they happen before they happen and then you have your form field so in this it includes full name email address now i don't necessarily require an address so you guys can see i can click on the properties on the left panel and you can set as form default you also have your required option 
So I'm going to turn this off. So this is not required now for a registration form for my customers. I don't even want to put this field in. So I'm just going to select it and then click on remove over here because it just doesn't look appropriate for a customer registration form. So you can move this away as well as delete it as well. I'm just going to move this over here like this. And if you want, you can, you know, move it, you can delete it. That's totally up to you. I've just deleted it. And then we have our full name, email, and phone number that people can add. Now below that, there is some information about our product. So what I'm going to do is you can click on your properties and you will see your basic properties. And then you have your advanced settings for your image slider. So I'm going to click on widget on this particular widget settings and you can see your images. So from here, I can click on choose images and I can choose my own custom images as well. So let's say we have this one, this one, or this one we want to add, and I'm going to click on use selected over here, and then I'm going to delete the pre-existing ones, and I can add my own images like this. I don't want to add that because it's not necessary in my particular section. So you can also submit a selfie. I don't need this section either. So you can just go on ahead and remove any of the sections that you do not require. We have this one over here, click on remove, or you can go into properties and you can duplicate a field as well, but we're just going to go on ahead and add this. And as you guys can see, I've duplicated the field a bunch of times, but I'm just going to wait for the deletion to be completed because it's lagging a little. So what I'm going to do is I can go into the field details as well. We have the image slider as well. So now this is our current form over here. Now I'm just going to wait for our basic section to be completed. So we're going to go into. So we also have a uh, get to know you better section. Now I'm not going to do this because for us, our primary goal is not the same as the template one. So I don't necessarily need any of these sections. I'm just going to go on ahead and delete these from here because it's not required you also can add conditional logic for your particular form on your left you will have your a basic information that you can add you can also add payment widgets as well as some other types of widgets now once you have completed this you're going to proceed so now i have a single page form and then on the top i have my settings so i'm going to retitle this this is going to be my durden registration and then once i do that i have my form status so i want to make this enabled and then after that you have some more options as well so you have form warnings language warnings if there are any if you want to auto delete submissions after a certain period of time if you want this to be a password protected form and more then after that you have your publishing settings so i can go on ahead and click on copy link and then insert this link then i can open this in a new tab to see what my form currently looks like you guys can see this is my form and then you also have the options to share your form you can also embed it into web pages so you can just copy this code and insert it into your website you can also assign this to a particular person you have emails prefill pdf and other platform integrations that can directly integrate your jot form into their site so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with jot form if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. And if there's anything else you would like to know or if there's anything that I left out, make sure to leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.